Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Google is busy rolling out the early stable release for Chrome version 118, which is going to be our next version upgrade. And they roll out the early stable a week uh, prior to rolling out the official upgrade. So most of us um, would not have received it by now, as you can see, because they only roll out the early stable to a small percentage of users, uh, with the majority of us getting the release uh, the following week. So that would be next week, starting the 10th or the 11th, um, Tuesday, Wednesday, next week, I would think that they would roll that out. Now, what can we expect to see in version 118? And this is just a guesstimate um, on my on my part. Um, obviously, this is subject to change. We haven't officially got any official release notes yet. So this could be subject to change. And just a quick guess on my part, if you would be interested. Now, first of all, um, I personally think that Chrome version 118 uh, isn't going to be a major feature upgrade because with version 117, uh, Google started pushing out the UI refresh for 2023, which brings more rounded corners and more material U changes to the UI. And because of that, I think with version 118, um, it's going to be a lot lighter on new features and tweaks and adjustments and so on. And I think um, when it comes to the UI, uh, Google will so-called put the finishing touches on the UI refresh for 2023. And as you can see um, in version 117, which is the current uh, stable release, I haven't received the UI refresh yet. And that's because as I've been posting, it's still on a controlled rollout, hoping to be finalized, hopefully by 118 or even possibly 119. But just on a side note, if you ask in version 117 and like myself, haven't received the UI refresh yet, you can always head up to your Omnibox, enter chrome colon forward slash forward slash flags, and you can enable the UI refresh by uh, turning on two experimental flags. So just type in refresh and just, uh, just uh, enable these two flags, restart your browser. And then if we head over to Chrome Canary, which is a preview version, this is more or less a couple of the changes you will see. Uh, more material U, um, icons and buttons, more padding. Menu upgrades and so on, and I'll leave a playlist for the UI refresh uh, in the end screen of this video. Um, if you would like to just to play catch up with that, because it will give you a lot more info. So, I think they will put the finishing touches on the UI refresh. And uh, um, over and above that, um, if we head back to Canary again and we head to the site panel, I think we should start seeing uh, the early stages of the reading mode, which basically. Um, simplifies the reading process uh, in the site panel by decluttering an article or a web page just making it uh, easier to read and i have posted on reading mode quite a lot so you can just do a search on the channel if you want more info with that and we could also start possibly seeing uh, if reading mode um, does roll out the new read aloud feature which um obviously as the name implies uh, will read aloud articles as an accessibility feature so um the reading mode i think could start making its way into the stable version officially and then moving on um, to some other little under the hood tweaks and adjustments, I think we could see um, if you use iCloud and are tied into the um, the Mac ecosystem. So if you are using iCloud to sync all your login credentials, um, Chrome 118 could possibly um, roll out new pass keys to um, version uh, in version 118 to Mac OS users and to Mac users who are using iCloud. And uh, just a quick recap on pass keys in case you're unaware. Um, a pass key works very similar to two-factor authentication. So basically what you do is you provide a biometric verification such as a fingerprint or a facial scan. And this um, apparently is more res resistant to online attacks like phishing. So that is already available for Windows users. So um, you'll be able to use pass keys stored uh, rather than just passwords and usernames. So that could be rolling out um, to our cloud users with version 118. And then just two more to go. Um, Chrome 118, if we head over to our settings and we head over to our privacy and security, click on security. Here we get our safe browsing. And I think 118 could improve the way safe browsing settings are displayed. So um, the update could add a new, basically a new table to the enhanced protection 
level that's supposed to make it easier to understand and what's involved in choosing which options and the other options like standard protection as and so on um could also be simplified for a better understanding of their features so that's all um regarding the safe browsing feature which could possibly roll out with version 118 and just the last one to mention quickly and as mentioned a lot of these are under the hood treatments that we could be getting in version 118 and if you are using chrome on windows there could be a more secure new sandbox for the network service which um, in case you may be aware has already been running as its own separate process for a long time in google chrome on windows and this is supposed to prevent um, tampering with the code or injecting something into it. So that's a bit of a security um, enhancement to uh, sandboxing the network server. So that's more or less what we can expect to see. As mentioned, this could be subject to change. And um, hopefully by the end of version 118, I would have officially received uh, the UR refresh that we see in preview. And as mentioned, that's going to be rolling out officially as the official stable version of 118 next week. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.